up YouTube, Bart here from Bart Craftsman. I'm happy to have you guys back here for another video. And today we're gonna talk about whether you should work out from home or at the gym. So if you are trying to figure out what environment will fit you better with your fitness journey, make sure you stick to the end of the video because we're gonna talk about this. Hopefully at the end, have a clear understanding about where to go when it comes to this. Maybe you pick up the next gym. Maybe we pick up the gym next door to you. Or maybe you just stay at home. Let's go and decide about this. Hold me when I'm falling. Niggas want it on me. Want it on it on me. Stone up now I'm stony. So, first thing guys, I want to share, I want to really thank you guys for landing back on the channel. I appreciate every single one of you guys that are subscribed here and that really, that always give us appreciation to all of our videos with likes, with comments, with sharing with your friends. I'm really, really thankful for all of y'all and together we're going to make sure that we grow this community to a bigger one. Make sure we attract more people to a very healthy lifestyle, you know, and make sure most of us attain our fitness journey, our fitness goal, true and very easy and appreciative and very easy and very great fitness journey. So today with you guys, we're gonna talk about, you know, I know it's a bit nerve wracking when somebody is kind of making the decision whether he wants to start working out, eating healthy and all that. And as far as I'm concerned, it was a big deal. You know, when I started working out, it was tough. And it was kind of harder for me to determine whether I have to just go and register in the normal gym or whether I should just start at home with, you know, whatever the things I have at home to be able to work out and uh, put on some size, you know. That's what my main thing. First of all, like, let's go down a little bit. Let's go down the memory lane to you know when it was like four or five years ago or a little bit more than that you know when I was just a veterinary student I was a veterinary student so what happened was like I was in Cameroon for those of you all that might not know like gyms are not kind of very very you know spread it over there like it's not really easy to have gyms everywhere so what I used to do is like I would do my push-ups at home my my my, my, my abs dips on like a little bit of like my uh, cooking stove that I had over there, my cooking station that I had over there in my kitchen, and then the countertop. So I'll put them close to each other and I'll do dips. So literally I could walk on my back a little bit, my abs for sure, and my chest, right? So that was the way I was going with it. And then some years later, when I dropped out of the university and I went to Nigeria, I was walking there. So. I spent like five months walking. So what I used to do there was like, I was always kind of traveling from one city to another, one city to another. And at that point, definitely I'd figured out that I really like walking out. From the fact that I was already used to kind of walking out at home in Cameroon prior to coming back to coming to Nigeria. So it was easier for me to kind of you know figure out what to do in the house, you know what, how to scale up my workout, and you know how to kind of go about it. So I literally had like around four to three to four times in a week when I, I was actually doing like push-ups and also doing like abs, doing squats, you know, walking all these little things without any equipment, right? Because as I told you guys, I was kind of traveling most of the time. So I was literally staying in different hotels rooms. You know, I didn't have like an apartment for myself yet, you know, so I was living like in hotels and traveling to different cities and states. So it was much more easier for me to kind of, to kind of go with it. Fast forward when I just came to Ukraine then, I was right here to continue my studies and everything. I was at the university and uh, you know, I was kind of eager to keep on working out. And all these little things, since I had the habit already built up from when I was back in Africa. So what I did was like, I just asked around and you know, it was fortunate that the university, my university had like a, very very small gym <clears throat> with like basic equipment that you could actually use 
and more weight than had at home because I didn't really had any anymore like at all so it was more kind of easier and better for me to go there and you know kind of try some things new things out you know going there from being somebody that always played basketball a little bit of football at times even though I wasn't good with it good at it so playing basketball and actually you know doing calisthenics in my home I had kind of a good muscle memories, like my muscle was, was not as big as maybe now, but they were kind of of a decent strength. And you know, the, the determination was right there. So when I went to the gym in the, at the university, what happens was like, you know, I had to learn new ways, you know, how to handle weights, how to use different equipments that they had over there. Luckily enough for me, I found guys that were there that was kind of, experience than I was so it was much more easier for me to kind of you know pick up one or two things from them and build it from there so I know this is of a big thing it's a big deal when you are trying to decide whether you want to start at home or somewhere else because me myself when I was going to the gym now I had to now think like how do I then pick it from there and make it you know more advanced like grow from what I've learned so far so I decided to kind of, you know, because what I was doing at the time was like I would take some days, three days, I was like, I was having access to the gym at the university three times in a week, Monday, Wednesday and Friday. So I'll pick up one or two days depending on how I feel during the day, during the week, right? And then add up some push up at home, some app session and all these little things. And that was the way I was going about it. I was really, really new to all of this, right? Until I actually found out that okay later I got bored with the gym at the university and then I had to find a new place and I started researching and I went to another gym bigger in the city where I registered and I had a membership and then I started from there really properly weightlifting using the prior knowledge the knowledge that I acquired at the university by the time I was going there to learn right so this is a story for another time but just for you to understand that you know that's the process is a tough one so for those of you guys that are actually trying to kind of come up and start working out i want to give you guys a little bit of tips you know let's come to the point that okay we're going to give you we're going to talk about the pros of actually working out from home mm. okay we're going to talk we're going to bring up the pros about working out at home the pros that are kind of linked the first thing i want to tell you that I will put into the categories of pros when it comes to working out at home is that it is flexible. It is convenient, right? It is very flexible since you are at home, so it doesn't matter. You can get up in the morning and have a quick session before heading out. You can come, you can come up from work, from school, from wherever you are coming from, and then you can have a quick session before going to bed. And it's very, very time efficient when it comes to managing your time, right? Because because like with that thing, I mean, working out at home, you can easily balance your work life and sleep balance and working out too. And you can rest well, that's for sure. Second thing I'll bring it to the pros is also the fact that it is germ free. It is germ friendly, like you have no germ when you are, you know, it's germ free. Like let's say you can actually control the environment when you're gonna kind of work out, you know. Because there's a big debate that's associated with kind of we say like gyms and uh, germs and all these things, you know. You know, at home definitely you won't get like any external germs to be worried about, you know. So that's also a very convenient thing. That's a very, very big, big advantage when it comes to actually working out from home. The third thing is the fact that you can actually enjoy your privacy, right? For those of you that are like us. Like me, sometimes we can be shy. We can be shy, so it can be a big good thing, you know. Sometimes I remember like going to the gym with people, training them. The person is a newbie, right? Like having a guy. I remember my guy, like I'll call him, I don't know, Frederick, right? It's not his name, but I'm just using that name. Like we used to go to the gym, with Frederick, right? Big guy, 130 kilograms, like that. But he was pretty new to working out. So what we we'll do is like most of the time I would give him like little weights, like I don't know, seven kgs weight. 
ask him to lift it or something. So he'll be looking at me and I'll be like, man, look at all these girls at the gym, man. How do you want me to carry this weight, man? I'm a big man. Give me a big weight. So eventually I'll let him just try them so that he can see whether he can do it because I knew that the muscles are strong but they don't have the proper, I don't know, strength yet. You know, he doesn't understand how to do that so it might be difficult so I'll give him and definitely it was difficult, you know, for him to do that even though now he's big and he's went, you know, a long way from that place. So working at home, you can actually avoid all these things and be private and really take the proper time to kind of go further with your training, you know, grow from it, learning new things, implementing and being sure that nothing like nobody's gonna cut you short whether you are trying to use an equipment or something like that. You know what I mean? So it's a big, big, big something. And you can be doing something else while working out too. That's a big plus. So that enters into the privacy that you will not necessarily have in any other gyms, in the gym outside your home, right? But Fourth thing I'll say is it's very comfortable, right? Because you set the mode as you want to or you want it to be. You set the environment as you want it to be. You invite whoever you want to be there with you or not. It's very comfortable, right? You decide how you want to dress. Some people just don't like dressing, like walking out with a lot of heavy clothes, especially our girls, right? liking to walk out with very very light clothes you know and why not underwear so it's very very easy to do it at home when you are kind of comfortable you can decide to be having tea while walking out like me i'm having tea right now so you know it's very very comfortable that's a big plus so definitely consider if you are trying to go that way the fifth pros of working out at home too is the fact that it's it's budget friendly. I mean, you don't have to waste no money. You just basically invest in the couple of equipments that you're gonna need from home, depending on the type of workout you are trying to get involved into. And that's it, that's, that's, that's good to go, right? You don't have to pay for no membership. You don't have to literally go outside and maybe be about buying something that is not really needed for you because you're outside already, you're thinking about buying it. So it is very, very budget friendly. So, but there are definitely some cons to that. We're gonna come back to them after we give you some, after I give you some pros to actually working out in the gym, right? Let's say you have all these advantages aside, right? Aside, but also you can go to a normal gym and have a normal session with different people. So you have to be thinking about also the advantages that are when you go to like a conventional gym where there are also people over there. So we're gonna bring up like, I'm gonna make sure I'm bring to you like some pros also when it comes to kind of working out in the gym, you know, in, a, in a conventional gym. Hopefully this one can be like balancing and then we'll land up on the cons mm -hmm. and see you know which one upweights others, another one. I'm, my goal here, if you want, I want you guys to consider that to understand this. Like my goal over here is not to make you guys choose one or another, right? It's just to know that this is what you should be. But when you're trying to make a decision, whether you are registering to classic, to a to, to standard commercial gym, or you are just investing in your home gym kind of things, right? So at the end of it, you can go down on the comment drop, uh, comment section, and you can actually send me like comment there which one you will go for, you know, what kind of workout you think that you'll be choosing for this you know and then of course from there we can bring up new videos later and then we'll talk more about all these things right what to do when you're trying to set up an at, at home gym what to do when you are trying you are going to the normal commercial gym what to expect from there what to plan how to plan how to go about your know, workouts and all these things so let's just go to the pros of actually also working out in the conventional gym we know that working out at home can be really, really good because you have all this comfort. It's kind of budget friendly. It's very comfortable. It's, you have the privacy and you can actually control how clean the environment is, right? But there are also limitations to this and we will see how good also working out in the gym can be for you. Even as a newbie, as somebody actually just registering to the gym for the first time.
we'll make sure we cover that right now i'm going to give you a couple of pros that you have to be looking for when you're trying to think also whether you should go and register to the next to the closest commercial commercial gym around, around your around your area right so keep in mind that first tips that i'm going to give you right now you know there is no distraction when you register there's not much distraction when you register in the commercial gym let me explain this you walk out at home it is very easy for you to actually get distracted because the environment is too comfortable right at the gym it is a very very specific area for that alone let's say you're actually going to the gym of course you will see different people you might feel like you are getting distracted you don't want to seem as a creep too right so you definitely have to sit down and do the job right i'm not talking about you trying to go there and sit on your phone like the whole time right i'm not trying to say that that's what you want to do but it is very very decision to do to take to go and register in the closest like commercial gym to your area so that you can give it a try but the fact is that there is a fact like you'll be going to the gym and it's very specific if you say you have two hours you are really going there to work out you might have better chances of doing that there than if you stayed at home with all the comfort and all this you know like privacy you have and you know just do it like it's better to go to the gym because there is a real advantage you are there for that you see other people doing that it's easy to get motivated and do the job right that's for a fact one thing the second thing you have more equipment man you have more equipments you have more like you know apparatus you have more i don't know more weights you know what i mean it's very hard for anybody especially if you are just a newbie to have all this equipment that you have in the gym right like the cable machine the smith machine the hack squat like you know all the bar all the weights all these little things like you know like it's, it's hard to get all of these things especially if when you are starting at home so it's very easy for you to just go to the gym you pay for the membership you choose a good one and definitely you have access to all of these things you can rock your workouts very easily so this is a big 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 pros this is a very very big pro when it comes to choosing whether you want to work out in the gym this is a very very big pro very big the third one i'll mention here you can do more cardio going to the gym let's say you work out at home even if you have like a gym at home right but i'm talking mostly to the newbies it's very hard you definitely not you rarely have like cardio equipment i mean even if you do have you don't have as much choices as much varieties as in the gym right in the gym you have the stair machine you have the elliptic bike you have the classic bike you have the i don't know you have the, the treadmill you have all these little things the ski like the rollers you know all of these things are really good variation for you to kind of try yourself at different things and choose effectively which one you want to go for for the for the for the like you know like to build the longevity and not being bored and making progress so that's a big advantage and also the fact that you are just going outside it is very good it's already cardio i'm not talking about just taking the car like cancel that one walking down to go and get into your car going out from that car going into the gym walking in gym between your set between you know that's already cardio it is good it's good to consider that the fourth thing i'll say choose your gym wisely because there is a big opportunity of networking when you go to a gym it's a social environment so go there and think accordingly it's a social environment you don't know who you might see at the gym you see people that are definitely like-minded like as you that are there for a goal like you know with the same goal most likely work hard and be better it's a very good place to be and these are good people you want to be around you might even find people that are into your field right so it's a definitely a great place to go and work out because you build a lot of networking no matter what kind of gym you're going into if you are very social you have a good advantage going to the gym than staying at home and having a workout even if you really have like an at-home gym that is kind of well furbished i'll advise you to a couple of times go to the gym and try that out and see who you find out there you know what i mean see who you find over there and see who you can talk to it is very good 15 15 is that the gym is challenging 
working out in the gym is more challenging than at home and you are more, more likely to kind of make bigger progress you know what i mean let me explain you work at home every day you do the same thing as soon as you're tired you stop at like in the gym as i told you before my friend frederick when we used to be in the, at the gym like he had this eager of kind of progressing right just because he didn't want to look like a loser in front of the other people that were there like he looked big and all these things he were highly motivated to kind of lose the weight that he had on and build strength this is very good most likely you will not have this at home unless you are a very very determined person which is kind of tough when you are just a newbie you know what i mean it's better to go to a gym and try and see you know compete with other people right there see what they are about to see what exactly they are about and trying to make up an idea like you know challenge yourself every single day you know catching the right motivation and are kind of going further with your, with your goal these are the kind of pros that i had for the gym they are many more over there as well as at home but you can pick and choose from all of these things and you know build yourself like an understanding whether you have to be going for one way or another way now let's jump to the cons man because working out at home and at the gym there are definitely cons to this right now let's go first to the gym cons right the first gym cons that i'll say is that definitely you go to a gym a lot of people people coming from different places Maybe the staff area at the gym not uh, are not really really uh, consistent with the cleaning and they are not very conscious when it comes to that. So you can you are more exposed to germs. You know what I mean? The fact is that when you have a flu and you go to the gym, you are more likely to kind of keep it for a longer time or spread it around. You know what I mean? Rather than when you stay at home and work out. If you have a flu, you can rest at home. Even you are working, you are working out. You don't have much interaction you know exchange of gems with other people so you are most likely to kind of heal faster is a fact so for you to now beat these cones you have to be looking very well at the gyms that you are trying to go and register at because check about their on their hygiene and all these things we're going to talk about this more like in the new videos when i'm talking to you about how to choose a good gym and all these things you know so that's good like we're going to talk about that the second cone that was, i'll give you is the fact that okay it can be it it's definitely more expensive to register in a normal commercial commercial gym and work out you know you're paying a membership and all these things but don't keep in mind just the idea of giving money out right look about the return what are you getting after you pay this money what advantage do you have as a client right so also we're going to talk about this when you talk about choosing the right gym for you so think about this thing yeah you spend more money more than being at home working out at the comfort of your home but i think it is worth it the third thing we all know one day we went to the gym with the idea of crushing maybe chest maybe legs right and we reach there all of a sudden it looks like everybody's working on chest you know what i mean or legs so you have this idea you feel like you're competing against each other's like to for the little equipments that are there like for the machines that are there you know you're trying to do the like one rep now one set now and then the person is kind of there already with his friend or you know they are like a group of them you know you have to either wait and switch and change the workout plan that you had for yourself or kind of cut your workout short we know that right so this is a big big disadvantage that's also why you have to be looking for the time to you know the best time for you to go and pick up a session right you have to decide whether the time you are going at the gym is like you know depending on your graphic right on your kind of depending on your depending on your timetable like on how your days are scheduled you have to choose the right time to go to the gym so that you don't burn into a lot of people there and you are not able to kind of continue with your work to follow your workout as planned or kind of finish it right that's a very very big big con but it's on you to kind of make the job make the researches and know what time you should be going to the gym especially which day to train which one so you can actually understand that a little bit by just looking at people and understanding kind of the general kind of graphic of like you know idea of how they train how they plan their weeks and then you can actually plan your day your weeks weekly base according to that and know like you know you're not training the same muscles at the majority of people the same day if you're coming at the same time or you're coming at a different time than the majority of people so you have less likely the, 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 the chance of being there and you know fighting for the same equipment and weight than other people you know what i mean that's a definitely that's definitely a con but that we can actually work on that of privacy in the gym 
when you go to the gym like it's a social environment there are a lot of people there are people that might be coming and asking you random questions you know there are people that mind their business there are people that you know they look they stay at others you know they do things especially if you're a lady and you're fly and you are, you, are, you, are, you are hot right definitely there will be guys that will be talking to you they will be looking at you they will be stalking your social media you know but it's for you to decide like is it worth trying that I feel like it can be worth trying that going to the gym and you know trying something else so the lack of privacy is definitely a big con but you know it's, it depends actually on how you carry yourself there and how you kind of plan to you know managing like the interaction with the people uh, the last con that I'll bring when it comes to working out in the gym will be the fact that it's, yeah, like, it requires more time at home like you can definitely get up in the morning dress up and even not dress up and have a quick session if you're already at home but in the gym you have to get ready so that you don't look weird in front of people and have a time to go there finish and go back so that's already additional time that you're adding to your normal session that maybe some of you might not have you know what i'm saying so consider that and of course it's a big con are there ways of kind of handling this i think so we're going to talk about that in another video that's definitely coming next let's go now back to the cons of actually working out at home right there are definitely some it's going is like you know the same flexibility that we talked about it's like it's kind of a drawl it's kind of you know both sides both an advantage and a disadvantage because of the fact that if you are just working at home you have so much flexibility it can be a bad thing you can just get up and you just feel like okay um, I can do it now you know I can do it later and before you realize you are slacking throughout the day and you are slacking off your workout like you are definitely not doing it and it's too flexible that you are at home like you can decide okay I'm having this workout session in the morning and later you you know you postpone it okay I'm gonna do it about after the work after you know and then after the work you are definitely very tired and you come back home you sleep it can go like this for many many days so i'll not advise you to kind of choose working out at home alone and i will def i will highly advise you to go and work out in the gym if you are not very determined unless you can have a trainer that comes and pushes you or a partner that trains with you and pushes you you know to kind of not miss your workout too and also during the workout like it's so flexible that you can just be slacking through the workout and taking too much time to rest all these little things are not good for you so think about that too when you are staying at home to decide to stay at home or work out and know whether it is the way you want to go and if it's the way you can afford to go if you are going to meet up with your day with your like with your milestone and all these things you know it's on you to decide on this the second cons that i would say is like there's no accountability working at home like you know nobody really knows what you're doing like i don't know you know on yourself you don't really know whether you're progressing or not because when you look around you can see yourself competing with other people that is kind of a challenge so you don't know exactly how you're going when you are just staying at home like that's the fact too if you cannot have somebody to kind of train with you sometimes so that you understand what's going on with your body whether you are getting progress and all that is advisable even if you are training at home most of the time to go a couple of times at the gym and train with other people see how you are reacting you know to the different like you know trying to build that accountability but at home you definitely not have it you know more than in a classic gym in, in a normal commercial gym the for the third one the third one is at home you definitely as we spoke before you lack enough equipment and space i don't know unless you are like you know a, a millionaire or i don't know you have enough resources most of the time you definitely don't have enough you don't you definitely don't have enough space at home to really have a proper gym when you feel comfortable like walking around and all these things the comfort is there of course but the space can be an issue especially some of us that live like in apartments like in the city so it's be tough for you to have like enough space to kind of build all these things and really properly work out and all the equipments too so think that think about that in mind but depending on the kind of workout that you are going for it can be good you know you can definitely have enough there just to go to your workout and do whatever you have to do properly the last one is the distraction i mean you're at home right you can easily put netflix and work out that working out right but by the time the the tv show or the the, the, the movie that you're watching gets to a very and very interesting part and maybe you're in between two sets 
you sitting down and you might not come back for it you know what i mean so this is a very very big thing to actually also consider when you are kind of working out at home make sure you work out in an environment where you have the least distraction possible close to you so that you don't slack in your workout and in between you know what i mean you are really going forward with it and you're closing it before you have access to any distraction so guys here are the tips that i have to give you consider all these things when you are trying to make a decision when are you going to register to the next to the commercial gym close to your house or whether you want to buy to invest in into equipment and start working out either at home or in the, in the closest like uh, park close to your house right hopefully this will really really like helpful for you guys i'm coming next with a new video and we're going to talk more up into details about what to do whether you're trying to set an at-home gym or whether what to do when you are trying to decide which gym you are trying to pick outside and actually have like purchase their membership but here and i'm signing out hopefully i'll see you guys next for another video make sure you subscribe share this with